in a class of 90 only your own script goes is it normal there are some things that happen that as, i can't talk about this topic for hours but i have to cut it short you know on youtube hi welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jemima i'm so happy to have you here you're welcome this is a continuation of the series of effective study habits of how to have distinctions in medical school if you've not watched the part one please go and see it it is so so informative i dropped tips on how to study and have distinctions go and see that video if you've not i will put the link up here today we are going to continue in the series so the first tip i'm going to talk to you today about is feed well your brain is the main organ at work when you're reading and the brain uses a lot of glucose reading and studying is an energy draining skill it's an act that saps energy have you noticed that if you read for long hours you get tired really tired and weak yes that is because your brain uses a lot of energy for whatever work is doing and where does your brain get this energy from from glucose where did the glucose come from the food you eat so you need to feed well to be able to have effective brain activity for your brain activity to be a top notch you need to feed well don't joke with your feeding yeah some people would, would tell me that they take energy drinks and all, oh my god no 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 i would never advise any one of my friends to depend on energy drink for the glucose that the brain would need i would never advise any of my friends to depend on caffeinated drinks because these things have side effects on your kidneys you would not want to have problems with your kidneys trust me especially as a medical student yeah so feed well eat nutritious meals don't depend only on junk food many nigerian universities students eat zero one zero if you don't know what zero one zero is you are so lucky well let me explain what zero one zero means zero means you don't eat in the morning one means you eat in the afternoon zero means you don't eat in the evening so zero one zero means you don't eat in the morning you eat in the afternoon and then you don't eat in the evening yeah that's what many nigerian students depend on but if you're going to do serious brain work you cannot feed like that you need to take something into your stomach at least three times a day sounds crazy or well, you need the energy right yes if you need the energy then you will feed well for me if i'm hungry i cannot do anything in fact my friends know that i can't lie down i can't sleep i can't read i can't think i can't do anything when hungry so i do not joke with my feeding and make sure i have something to eat at least three times a day if you can't have access to food, you can get snacks, you know, junk food. Yes, I know, junk food is not healthy, but there are times when you cannot just help it. Like if you have a long class, if you have classes from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. or 6 p.m., you can't stay and wait until you get proper meals before you get something into your stomach. What you do is you put snacks into your bag and then you munch on them during your break period. So you eat in the morning before you leave your lodge or your hostel, in the afternoon you take any snack that you have in your bag in the evening as you come back from school you feed well because your brain needs this energy i cannot overemphasize the fact that brain work requires so much it saps energy like it uses straw to <laughs> is it <laughs> oh, really? it uses straw to sap your energy if you've ever read for a long time you will understand what i'm talking about trust me the second tip i'm going to talk to you about today is pray Pray, yes, things happen behind the scene. You would be surprised what your script goes through before the result comes out. There are so many things that can happen. I know there are some people who don't believe in spiritual beings, but we in Nigeria, village people is real. There's, <laughs> you, you will not want to know what village people can do to somebody. Trust me, you will not want to know it. So many things can go wrong. Missing script is something that you will never ever want to have in your life. Village people can make your scripts go missing. <laughs> Amo, based on experience, village people are real. Though. You need to pray. When I say pray, I'm not talking about only Christianity. I'm not talking about only pray to Jesus. I'm talking about whoever or whatever you hold at high esteem as a deity. 
pray. If you're a Buddhist, pray. If you're a Muslim, pray. If you're a traditional worshiper, offer sacrifices. Pray, oh, if you're a Christian, hold your Jesus well, kakaraka. Pray well because things happen. <laughs> You'll be surprised that someone can be doing incantation somewhere. I know I sound superstitious or crazy. Yes, I know, but those people who understand what I'm talking about, they know what I'm talking about. You will be surprised how many people are doing incantations for you to fail. Yes, even in your class. You can have witches and wizards in your class that want you to fail. Or when you don't have any, apart from studying, you don't have any other thing helping you. Omo, <laughs> Omo, I don't know. I don't know. You need to develop a relationship with your God. You need to be diligent. You need to be faithful in whatever God that you're serving. You need to be faithful. There's a quote, pray like as if you've not read enough and read like as if you've not prayed enough. That is one of, in fact, I would say this is the backbone of whatever score I have ever had in medical school and I will ever have in medical school. I don't joke with my God. There are so many things that happen that you, you can't see. We as humans, the highest we can do is to study well, write well and submit. But Omo, from that point, is is no longer in your hands. So prayer covers up for those things that you have no control over. You have control over your study habits. You have control over what you write in exam. But do you have control over who is marking your script? No. Do you have control over who is recording your scores? No. Do you have control over who is typing your score into the computer? No. That is where your prayers come in. Don't joke with your God. Village people, they are real. There's just too many things that prayers can do for you when it comes to success and having these distinctions there are too many things is it understanding there are so many things that you try to study you've met so many people to explain to you and you discover you still don't understand for me that is where the holy spirit comes in the holy spirit explain i don't know how i cannot scientifically <laughs> if that's the language i cannot explain it to you how the holy spirit does his work but i know what works for me and if you're watching me and you're a Christian and you want to know how the Holy Spirit can help you, I can actually release a video on that if you want me to. Yeah, I can because how do you go to medical school without praying, without the help of the Holy Spirit, without grace, without mercy? How? God can do things so. Oh, Omo, God day. <laughs> By next week, trust me, next week Saturday. No, not next week Saturday. Yes, actually, my next week Saturday, 8 a.m., the part three of this video will be out with more tips on how to get distinctions in medical school, more tips on how to have effective reading. There are too many tips, but I cannot talk about all of that in one video because me, I like to explain whatever I'm saying so that you will understand my point. If you've not seen the part two, I will put the link up here. Please go and see the video. You would like to know what changed what made me to stop having 30s and 40s and 50 in school in my previous degree please if you like this video give this video a thumbs up feel free to share this video to your friends and your family feel free to share this video to your classmates and your colleagues if you like my content please subscribe to my channel so that if i have any new video you will be the first to see it Please remember that I upload new videos every Wednesdays and every Saturdays. On Wednesdays, I post random stuff about emotional tips, my personal life. That's what I post on Wednesdays. But on Saturdays, I deal strictly with medical school vlogs. So, hop on if you like my content. I know you do. That's why you're here, right? Yeah. If you watch this video to this point, I am so grateful. Thank you so much. See you next week. Bye. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> of all the glucose, uh, twenty percent of all the glucose found in the body. Oh, uh, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs>